Obviously, you know, exhibition games a lot of times are about process over result. You guys experimented with a lot of lineups, did a lot of rotations. Just overall thoughts on how it went. Yeah, listen, I, I think when when I thought that this was a good idea, you know, I feel like for the reasons now, make no mistake, I wanted us to, to play better, right? But the intent was to get exposed in a couple areas so we have a couple weeks to leading into our first game to get better in. It's no secret, this is a really good offensive rebounding team. It's kind of part of their DNA. That's an area, like, we, as much as we want to simulate that in practice, we need reps against a really good team in that regard. And to play in front of, because of our non-conference schedule, two of those first three games are outside of our gym, we needed to go into an environment and with an opposing crowd and an opposing gym against a good team because that's what our non-conference schedule is. And so I thought in that regard, we, we accomplished kind of the, the intent of this. In, in, in my mind, this was, I think, I think practice number 18, 18 or 19. And it's the best possible practice setting you could get at this time of year because you're against another team and, and, and all that. So Cincinnati, I think, is going to have a really good year. Um, they, they have a good team. But I think there were some really positive things for us to take from it even though we didn't play as well as we wanted to. We didn't shoot the ball as well as we wanted to and things like that. And make no mistake, all that aside, like there was a reason bigger than basketball to do this game, right? And, and I don't want that to get lost in this. And I know Wes feels the same way. It's, it's why it was so easy to come together and do this game because there's, you know, there's real impact happening in the community and for, you know, Anthony uh, Grant to allow us to partner with him to kind of expand upon what we did last year was was ultimately goal number one. Goal number two was, you know, for us to learn and, and get some good film to have a nice, nice teaching film session uh, tomorrow. And just real quick, uh, Aaron Bradshaw's status, how, how's he doing? Yeah, I don't anticipate him being out very long. Um, he's working his way back and hopefully here in the next handful of days. Jake, you talked about in the summer and in the preseason about You've got non-negotiables. One of your non-negotiables is effort, you know, walking, those kinds of things. If you don't pay attention to the box score and the overall score of tonight's game and you just look at effort, do you feel like your guys showed you that full effort from start to finish tonight that you're looking for? Yeah, I thought our effort was pretty good. I, I thought we lacked um, some urgency and some physicality with that at times. And, and you know, we didn't respond kind of collectively at times. We responded a little bit more individually um, to, to some of just the, the natural adversity of the game. There were a couple moments. That's why some of the substitution was the way it was because there were a couple moments where we didn't get back. Like Sean had that great transition block and we had no one there to clean it up. That's a non-negotiable for us. So we'll continue to get better at those things. And, and we have, like this group, this group competes uh, every day in practice, and they play hard every day in practice. I was just a little disappointed um, tonight when I felt like there was like a momentum kind of happening in moments of the game. We didn't we didn't quite respond as well as we're going to need to. But again, we can't simulate that in practice. Like we can't simulate the momentum of a game and a crowd getting into it. And and we got to be able to respond better in those situations. And we will. I, I have I have like. Zero concerns. Um, I, I actually feel really, really good now being able to kind of break this game down and, and learn and grow from it. Hey, what, what were the practices like coming into this the last couple of days? Did you feel that you would play better, even with all the things you said about different lineups and things? Did, how did you feel through the practices leading into this? Yeah, I think practice has been good. This group has consistent, consistently practiced well. Um, now, you know, <clears throat> We don't practice against the exact same coverages we saw. We don't practice against, like we didn't, the practices leading up to this were about us getting better for the non-conference season. It wasn't about being able to handle specific coverages we may see or things like that. I, I do think one of the things that we could have done better is when we would make adjustments in a timeout or we would make adjustments in halftime, like being able to kind of execute those adjustments and that translating a little better, but you know, we didn't, we didn't prep for those either. So um, I think, you know, in that, in that regard, like we practiced well, but it, it wasn't about practicing, you know, to to necessarily 
beat Cincinnati was practicing to win possessions and win segments of the game and do what, what we're trying to build schematically, do it well. At times we did, at times we didn't. Where does where does that start? What is that like for you when you when you think about what this is going to be like to sit down and break it down? It's just teaching. I mean, it's it's just teaching. It's it's being able to now like simulate. So, you know, today for example, we did a a very brief simulation of what a game game day would look like. So we got that rep in. We got that practice in. Um, and we'll now simulate. This will be a little more extensive because this is the first time we have this data. But we'll simulate kind of a, a you know a post game film session, and we'll be able to go into greater detail because we've we've kind of been to some degree been longing for this information. Um, you know when you run actions and, and practice, you know like everybody knows the play calls. You know you're going against the same coverage every day. Now we'll we'll simulate different coverages and things like throughout, but not not extensive yet. Like we'll start to get into that. This. This has kind of been the end of phase two for us in the fall. This scrimmage was the end of phase two. Now we shift toward, towards a little bit more specific uh, things leading into our, our next scrimmage and then ultimately our first game. You told us at uh, media day that it was, I forget what you put, defensive boot camp. Was that, was that the, what you, how you? We might, we might need another one after. Uh, well, that's what I was going to ask. <laughs> based, on, based on what you saw and obviously taking into account some of the things you mentioned, what did you make of, of kind of how it's coming along? Yeah, I, I think <clears throat> we did, we had some better defensive moments, a little disappointed the way we guarded the three point line. Um, you know, I felt like we, we let them kind of step into uh, some, some easy threes. And then there were segments of the game where we lost our, our positioning, which put us on an island, you know, guarding the ball, which, you know, when you play good teams, it's, it's really hard. So again, that's part of the information where it, it's things that we've been building uh, upon and we've been getting better at, but you know clearly we, we got to continue to work on that. And now we can we can see it against someone else, which is good. You, you mentioned offensive rebounding as UC's identity and what makes them good. What else did you kind of see tonight, or that you know about this program that should they should bring it in this year to make them make you think that they'd be a good team? Yeah, certainly. I don't I don't think that's the only thing that makes them good, but I, I think it's something that they'll be able to lean on. Um, you know, I, listen. If they can shoot the ball like that from three in, in stretches, that'll that'll certainly serve them well uh, throughout the course of the year. But I thought you saw you saw a team who had some like like you you could see them have some experience together, uh, which was good. It's what we're fighting to get, right? We're fighting to get that on court like experience together. And I wish we could I wish we could do this like three more times. Um, because that that would be obviously really really valuable for us, and we were able to play some lineups that we, we haven't we haven't practiced in those lineups and, and things because you know we're just today was about gathering some information. But as far as Cincinnati goes, I think they got you know some, they got veteran players. I think they have they do a great job on the glass, but they have shooting. You know, and I, I don't think we didn't we didn't say going into this that this isn't a team that couldn't shoot. Like we we felt like that was going to be a strength for them, and they put that on display tonight. So that was good. They play with pace, um, you know, which was good, and and their aggressiveness defensively, uh, I think, will be a real strength for them because they, they do a good job of, you know, containing guards and 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 their switching and aggressive switching was was good. Like all that stuff, you you can see a system forming out there, um, and I think that'll that'll serve them well. Certainly, you know, as they start off the non-conference season. Yeah, sticking with rebounding, I think it was 38 to 21 for Cincinnati. Um, was that more of you guys just being thin in the front court without Aaron, or what, what do you attribute those, I guess, shortcomings to? Aaron's a good rebounder, but I don't know necessarily like him being out should, should warrant that kind of discrepancy. Um, I felt like you know they they were they were just more physical, and we weren't physical enough. We we um, need to like. We actually hit harder against ourselves, and I felt like we did, you know, tonight. And some of that that happens is natural, I think, when you get in this environment for the first time. But listen, it, it was it was an area going into where you know we talked as a staff and said, hey, like three days ago, our assistants are like, oh, they're really good. Rebound. I said, I understand that, but we need to spend a, all practice. No, we're not going to spend all practice rebounding, right? Like, let's give our guys a chance to respond in the moment. 
knowing that they're a good rebounding team. Some guys did. I thought Devin Royal did a great job. I thought he responded well. Some other guys needed to do better. Um, but yeah, make no mistake, Aaron Bradshaw's a good rebounder, but I don't, I don't necessarily feel like that was a reason why there was this script. I felt like they were just a little more physical uh, than we are for than we were for stretches, and we'll be better at that. I'm not too worried about that moving forward. We'll, we'll get better at that because I think our guys are a little extra motivated for that too now. Coach, thanks. All right, guys. Yeah.